top hint. This is not a good idea. Yeah, so um, good afternoon everyone. Um, I think this will be a short, quite a short video because I haven't really got much to say. But really, uh, I've said it all already, which is um, I've had a stroke. Uh, about 10 days ago, uh, I was working on the trike, which is why I'm surrounded by pieces of trike this morning. It's the front end spanner. When um, I went out for a walk and something obviously went badly wrong and I kind of only, only just really got home walking so that's the first hint, can't have been that bad. We went straight to see uh, our, our duty GP um, practice. Um, I've seen within 15 minutes, extraordinarily fast. And the duty doctor who saw me said, you've had a stroke. And there wasn't really much to do except that he sent us directly to the local uh, tertiary hospital, which is the, the, the big hospital with a, with a big emer emergency department. And um, there, I was checked in. I was triaged within 10 minutes. I'd had bloods taken, cannula put in, CT scan all within half an hour, first half an hour. But then you really have to wait, you know, uh, because it was a fairly minor event. I was on a list, obviously, to be seen by a doctor. But it was something like 12 hours later before I was seen, so I spent most of the night in the emergency department just sitting around, waiting, waiting, waiting. You know how it is. And eventually I was seen by one of the um, emergency department consultants who said, you had a stroke. So let's take that as a stroke then. Um, again, more, 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 more waiting, probably, I, I don't know how many hours, honestly don't know how many hours, maybe, maybe 10 more hours. The, the way the system works is that you then go onto a kind of status board that you need to be admitted, um, but admissions don't happen straight away. I was 30th in line for a bed, I think. And then the medical SHO, or the med reg, don't, don't know who it was now, um, happened to see me after we made a comment to a HCA. Um, within an hour, he had actually pushed my admission forward and I went to the uh, admissions medical unit, which is an irony I'll maybe tell you about at the end wasn't there very long um, I think I think I think I had a few hours sleep at that point and I think the next morning is I was taken to the MRI scanner that's the big the big powerful magnet I'm stuck in that it's very noisy and that was positive well whereas the CT scan that I've had actually wasn't very positive it, it could didn't really show anything so um, I don't get a certificate of having a brain, <laughs> you know, um, but the MRI scanner was was, was was positive that I'd had a, a series of small areas of damage, um, some of them very old, so I've had this kind of problem before, and after that um, I went to the stroke ward, I spent, I don't, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure how long I was there, and it was enormously good to get out, because Staying in a hospital is, is a pretty grim experience for a patient, I, I, must, I must say. You know, it's continu continuously noisy, there's always something going on, there's always stress of some kind. I think at the moment I've been home for maybe eight or nine days, and mostly I've been resting, catching up on a lot of sleep. Uh, I was very sleep deprived when I came home. Uh, today I've been out on the trike for the first time. The, no the noise you can hear behind me is actually the the um, the fan in the lithium battery charger charging my uh, trike battery. I've actually been out for the longest ride um, that I have been so far. Obviously that suggests that I've certainly got a lot of function back. 
Uh, my balance isn't great. Uh, I think as you can tell from the, the first piece of video here, my gait wasn't great walking down the side of the boat. The slightly longer story is that the day I was in hospital was the day we were supposed to do sea trials with the, with the Pathfinder. It's outside. I had spent two days cleaning it, another three days packing it. It was all ready to go. It was on its trailer, all secured, all ready to go out in what we thought was light winds and maybe maybe light drizzle. And of course, instead, I was sitting in a hospital bed thinking, oh dear. So this is a bit of a setback video, really. I said, I'll keep this, keep this as a short video. I just wanted to tell the news and also do a couple of things while I'm here regarding my YouTube channel. Uh, the first part of that is to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. <laughs> I noticed this morning that the, on the numbers uh, that I had 666 subscribers so yeah that kind of fits doesn't it. I'll put this video out. I'll, I'll just keep this really short today. It's, it's just a, a news video. And then hopefully I'll come back uh, next week. And one of the things that has happened is I've decided what to do with everything now. For example, last week was about finishing the trike and I've now been out on the trike and actually had an independent ride out to a coffee shop and, and come home. That's great. And tomorrow, next week, sorry, I'm going to start work on the boat again in that I'm going to take the boat one or two two stages forward and do things like the electrical system um, the the covers and I have this radical plan of re-rigging the boat as a lug yawl which some of you will know was my original intention and that will appear in my written blog and that will appear on the John Walsford site which is where I normally hang out with news for the boat Aside from that, well, as you can see, I'm largely in one piece. I don't feel it. I feel very tired. I am very emotionally labile. That's my emotions are just going up and down like a Plymouth slap a skirt at the moment. Don't know what that's about. Normal stroke response. I'm trying to get a little rest and do things like this as the projects of the day. And with that, um, there, are, there are things I want to say about the hospital and some of the situations that I saw, but I think I was going to, you know, cut it, off, cut it off at that. Hey guys, I'm back, not in great condition, and I will catch you next time with hopefully things going on aboard the boat. So thank you and goodbye.